Okay, we've got another game from Boo yet again, and this time it's the third matchup. We got a Zerg versus Zerg, and Boo's the red Zerg in the top, and here we got Hetzer as the blue Zerg at the bottom, and this is ZBZ. In Brood War, typically they only went one way for the most part, um, but hopefully with quite far positions on a reasonable size map, or at least reasonable size for what we've got in StarCraft 2, it might be maybe a long game rather than just going baneling. Zergling, maybe some roaches, maybe some muda, and then a bit of death. Um, but hopefully it'll be more interesting than um, StarCraft Brood War Zerg versus Zerg, which typically went Zergling, Mutalisk, death. Um, so I'll have to see how well Boo does and how well Hetzer does. And they both sent their overlords to scout, they'll both see that they're not in close distances by air. And then they might send a drone out fairly soon to scout and see if they're in close distances by land or whether they're in a the far position and um, we just got drones being produced by both at the moment so they're just macroing up and it'll be interesting to see whether they decide to go for some early zerglings which is what you might think or whether they go for an early hatchery when they find out that they're, they're, yeah when they find out that they're in cross positions rather than being close positions so we've got a drone now coming out from the boot to check this bottom left hand place see if his opponent's down there and no scout yet from Hetzer, although no, his overlord's just gonna miss this drone coming in and coming out. Although it might see the drone as it goes across the bottom and then he'll know that Boo's probably up in his top right and Boo's got a spawning pull down. So fourteen pull from Boo and fourteen pull from Hetzer. And we can look at the production tab and see exactly how far on they are. So they're pretty much almost the exact distance. And we got Gauss only now coming up for Boo and Hez has had his up for a while so he might be getting a slightly earlier layer or he might be going for some early speedlings and Boo's might be slightly further behind since his Gauss has only just started and his pool's just finished. So we'll see if they decide to get some early Zerglings. Yep, we've got four Zerglings coming out for Boo and a Queen coming out and a Queen coming out for Hetza and Zergling Speed coming out and the drone's just scouted here so Boo knows where Hetza is and We'll see if he goes for a gas deal, which I wouldn't expect because you're probably not really too bothered about gas at the moment, especially when he's already got enough for the metabolic boost. And now Hetzer probably knows where Boo's likely to be. And we got some four Zerglings coming out now for Boo, heading towards Hetzer's base. And Hetzer's already getting a baning nest because he's got that early gas, so he's able to spend it on that. And he hasn't actually got. Oh, he's got two Zerglings out now. And doesn't look like he's got any more in the way, but. Oh no, sorry, I missed a couple. Um, to the unit count itself. So it's four Zerglings against four Zerglings and one Queen against one Queen and 17 drones. So basically, they both got pretty much the exact same things at the moment. And the Spine Crawler coming up for Hetzer to defend against these handful of Zerglings, which he should be able to do with his four Zerglings and Queen anyway. So, yep. Now it's three against three, but if we go up here, we can see that Boos are almost dead and Hetzer's are mostly alive. And now it's two on two. And the Queen's going to try and take on this Overlord, which if it manages to do would be a reasonable cost for Boo. And he's got a Roach Warren up rather than a Baneling Nest. So it looks like it's going to be Banelings against Roaches, and Roaches are pretty good against Banelings because you can just tank the damage if you manage to position them right. So it wouldn't surprise me to see these Banelings not being particularly effective. And I think an Overlord went down for Hetzer, killed by a Queen possibly. And so it was a bit spike out there but only momentarily and we got the layer upgrade coming for Hetzer so we might get some Mutalisks and they're both still just droning up, neither of them has got an expansion yet and we've got some Banelings and some Zerglings heading over towards Boo's base, probably going to try and put some pressure on maybe try and take down some of these drones but with Roaches out these should be able to defend quite easily against the Banelings especially when they're forming a wall like that up at the top of the ramp and he's got nine Roaches out now I think um, I'm not really good at keeping up with right tabs. So he's got nine roaches out and no zerglings, so it's just roach against failing zergling. So these roaches really should be able to deal ridiculously easily with any pressure. But if we get a spar coming down, these roaches will be pretty useless unless he uses them to put some pressure on. And we've got two spine crawl, sorry. Yeah, we've got another spine crawl coming up the ramp just in case these roaches do decide to try and put on some pressure. So, Hetzer sensibly didn't decide to smash his head against the Roach War and just brought all this stuff back just in case there is any pressure put on, getting a bit more defense. And I would, yep, there's a spark coming up, so it looks like it's going to be 
some roaches against some mutalisks, so Boo's going to have to sit tight in his base and wait for his lair to complete and then wait for him to wait for some mutalisks to come up because he won't be able to put any pressure on because Hetz will probably get Mutal out and have to fly all the way over to his base. But he's getting quite a lot of spine crawlers, so he's got four spine crawlers here at the top of his ramp. So he might think about taking an expansion because he can use those to defend down this area. Oh, sorry, he's already got his expansion. And then he'll probably use the spine crawlers to defend this area down here. He gets any pressure from these roaches along with the mutalisks, which will be able to basically do kill infinite roaches since the roaches can't do anything to touch them. So he's moving his spine crawlers out, and Boo's just sitting still on one base, and he's just started spire over here. So it's going to be an extra base and the spire up and quite a lot of static defense for Hetzer so Boo might be able to do alright if he manages to put some early pressure on but because the meter is going to be out slightly earlier for Hetzer I'd probably give a defensive advantage to Hetzer so his spire's just finished now and Boo's is only half complete and we've got the creep spread quite good from Hetzer here and Boo's, Boo's got an expansion coming down over here so that's an interesting idea but there's pretty much zero creep being spread so these roaches aren't going to be able to run away from the mutalisk very easily and they're not going to be able to do much at all really so he's going to kind of have to sit in his base for now but Hetz has got a much better creep spread and Boo going for that extra base if we do see the mutalisk flying around and if they do scout the map rather than going straight for the base then they're going to be able to take down that expansion hatchery quite easily so it could be pretty bad news for Boo if the hatchery does get taken out unless he builds a lot of mutalisks and manages to get them out to counter these Muta. So we've got three Muta flying around at the moment. Oh, sorry, there's a production tab again. So we've got, yeah, five Muta lists, but only two of them are flying about, and another one catching up. And we've got, I think it was five Muta being produced for Boo. So it's going to be, uh, sorry, I just took the production tab. Six on five, I think. So we've got six Muta for Hetza, and five for Boo, and nine Roaches, which will be able to do absolutely nothing. So, I have to see whether Boo manages to control his middle is better, and they're just flown right by each other, and they haven't noticed each other at all. Oh, wait, there we go. Boo's middle come back. Oh, and Hetzer split his middle list really badly, flying some of them off and some of them not off, and he's taking a lot more damage than his middle list than Boo. And an overlord goes down, so. Looks like the. No, they're not going to trade overlords. Hetzer's just going to run away as fast as he can, and back to the safety of his queens, probably. With, although he hasn't moved the queen down to his expansion, if he uses his queen to support these mutalisks, he'd probably be able to win against these mutalisks, boo. Especially if he had some reinforcing mutalisks coming in, but it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to do that, and boo just manages to fly away, not losing anything. Neither of them have lost any mutalisks so far, I don't think. So it's fairly close at the moment, but we've got more mutalisks coming out on both. And just check this expansion down here, he's getting a gas up down here so he'll have a decent amount of gas coming in, it's just going to be mutalisks against mutalisks and taking out some overlords and see who can do the most damage of all that overlord just manages to run away and live when the mutalisks come on support him and what you could see is transfusion on the mutalisks, especially the damage launch, I think just died Ooh, and it looks like Boo's not going to be able to do very well out of this and he's just going to have to run away as fast as he can to try and get back to his base and he's going to lose some more overlords on the way so Hetz is doing pretty well now, he's managing to take down a lot of overlords and just still Boo's got quite a few out so he's not supply capped and the Muse is going to meet again over here and Boo's going to have a side advantage this time because he's got the shorter, re shorter um, reinforcement route but this is turning out quite similar to what you'd see in the normal Brood World Zerg versus Zerg both of the players have got Muta and now they're just buying for air control although without the Scourge it's kind of a bit more Muta on Muta is a bit more boring and we've got a Roach Warren now up for Hetzer so he might go for some kind of ground attack in combination with these mutalisks against the roaches of Boo but I'm not sure, just going to press uh, sorry this is the wrong video um, he hasn't scattered the expo down in the bottom left hand corner so Hetzer doesn't know about that and he can't surely still be thinking that Boo's on one base he's got to know that there's something going on although he might not have checked the main ex natural expansion yet and the mutalisks just going head to head and they've both run away so they both killed a few and Boo's got quite a few queens out so he's using them to transfuse the mutalisks make sure that they're back to as much health as they can be and Hester's losing a lot of music because he's not got his queens nearby, he's not used to transfuse once so Boo's managing to do a much better job of keeping his queens alive, now he's got some corruptors out so he's going to use them to try and take down these mutalisks because the corruptors can tank I think quite a bit of damage against the mutalisks so they'll do pretty well, now we've got the third hatchery coming up over here, third base for Hester and at the moment it's just quite a few damaged mutalisks and a bunch of corruptors against 